You know, my last video said no more gear reviews. I meant it. Yeah, no more gear reviews. This is not a gear review. Um, this is me actually having fun. And uh, this is me not being sponsored because they're not a sponsor. I just actually like sparkling water. Why? I don't know. I like to torture myself. <laughs> All right. Let me move everything that I should have moved before I started this. So, hello again, and hope you're ready for another video. Today's video <clears throat> is uh, just me talking about this new drone and how nothing wants to stick to it. Uh, I've got my tail number on here on the side, and I'm having a lot of fun trying to get that to stick to it. I'm probably going to have to just draw it on there. This was a really fun drone to fly. This is the new DJI Mini Pro 4. I uh, got it because I have a lot of work that was needing a drone. And I got this new controller that I was sick and tired of hooking my phone to the old one. And it came with this nifty free Lifthor. Uh, they're a company out of Norway, makes uh, drone accessories. And that was in there with the bundle, and uh, I really liked it. Anyway, I get a lot of questions about drones and drone photography and drone videography, and more so about the equipment than what I think the real important question is, what are you going to do with it? Um, there's a lot of complications around what you can use a drone for, where you can use a drone, and um, how to do all of that legally. Some people just don't care. I get it. They're not worried about it. Me, on the other hand, I worry about everything. So I've been licensed since the Part 107 came out in like 2016. Um, you have to do a recurrent test every two years to keep your license valid. There's a lots of other training on there that is great at keeping you in understanding um, all the laws and stuff that deal with the sky. And to me now, if you're going to fly a drone, it's so much better to have this knowledge and not need it than to really get into a situation where you need it and you don't have it. So, I would highly suggest anybody that's thinking about getting a drone, uh, whether it's for fun or, or, or for business, um, look up some websites. There's plenty of websites out there uh, that teach about safe drone flying and things to be aware of um, and if you're going to shoot video or photos with a drone and your plan is to give it to a business that's a commercial flight you're like well I didn't get paid doesn't matter there's a little clause in the law that says if you further a business that is a commercial flight now let me explain how sticky that clause is if I put a video on YouTube, YouTube attaches an ad to the video. I never get paid, but unbeknownst to me, I have furthered their business because they get paid for the advertisement. That YouTube video that I might have just shot for fun one day has now become a commercial video, hence my flight has now become a commercial flight. That's how insane that is. So, yeah. Like I said, if you're wanting to own a drone and you want to do more than social media, check out how to get your Part 107. It does take some learning. It does take some, some skill, uh, you know, and some, some memorization and things like that and understanding charts and maps and things like that um, because we're sharing the airspace with other vehicles in the sky that carry human beings. I mean, it's simply like having a driver's license is the way I look at it. We wouldn't dare think about driving a car on the roads without our driver's license because, you know, it's not legal, you know, and we're so used to that. Um, and I think this is eventually going to become sort of along those lines because you think about ambulances on the road, we've got ambulances in the sky, right? We have them a lot here where we're at with air, uh, air evac and situations like that. So really knowing what to do in an emergency situation, really knowing how who to contact and how to contact who and stuff like that is really important. 
uh, especially if you travel. You know, there's lots of things that affect drone flight when you travel, and different countries have different regulations. This is a micro drone. My drone weighs less than 250 grams. If I was not licensed, I would not have to register it. But I'm flying with the intelligent batteries. This battery doesn't have a 249 gram stamp on it. Let me see. This battery does. And if you hold them, it's almost indiscernible. I can't tell the difference without the stamp. But one of them makes this aircraft over 250 grams. The intelligent battery is heavier, or the intelligent flight battery is hev heavier, so this makes this vehicle where I have to register it even if I was not commercially licensed and get the tail number. Um, I've added the three mile loom cube lights. These lights are certified that they are visible for three nautical miles. That makes me legal to fly at night. Cannot fly a drone at night commercially for fun or anything without having the proper lighting on your drone. And none of the drones come with it. Now this one comes with a new auxiliary light that shines down, which is actually kind of cool. I like that. But it's in no way, shape, or form going to make your flight at night legal. It'll make it easier to take off and land, but it's not going to make you legal. So knowing all this stuff and having a way to have this knowledge at your hands and, and having, you know, I keep my Part 107 certificate right here clipped in my bag. So if I have somebody come up to me and ask me questions, I can simply answer everything for them. So just some thoughts. And um, I was going to share some fun videos that I just shot, one, uh, some that was out near uh, Clifton, Tennessee, um, out in that area um, that I shot during a recent um, work shoot that I was doing. Uh, wasn't working in the area I was at. As you'll see, it's kind of, I found this place is under a bridge. It looked kind of cool. I actually think I'd love to go back there sometime and do some kind of neat photo shoot thing. Um, just a really neat area. You're going to see some video of me walking around. That was me testing out the active track. Uh, and there's some other things where I was testing out some, some features. I'm getting to know the drone. I'm trying it out and flying it for the first time. Um, these are the first flights I've taken it on. And I took a night flight here in downtown after a storm. I wanted to get the reflection of the lights and everything in the highway. It looks so cool. I actually have not seen the video on a large screen yet. I've only seen it on the smaller screen. So I'm going to be excited to see it on the television. Um, and I hope you guys are excited about it too. Appreciate you guys watching, you know, and uh, if you have questions, leave them down in the comments. I'll probably answer them. Um, anyway, I'll see you guys on the next one.